It's been exactly one year now since a water main burst in Clovis. Three homes were heavily flooded. Fox 26 reporter Rich Rodriguez spoke to one of the homeowners impacted and explains why they feel betrayed by the city of Clovis. Last year on January 3rd, a water main burst and water streamed into three homes on the 100 block of Sunnyside Avenue in Clovis. Michael and Cheryl Madrano said a city of Clovis representative made them a promise. Initially, they said they will take care of all damages and any repercussions that came from that water main break. They took full responsibility a year ago, said it was them, they'll take care of the families, so forth. And the way they took care of the families is not the way you take care of anybody. The Madranos have spent the past year exchanging proposed settlement emails with the city of Clovis, but they're still more than $1.2 million apart. In September, the city offered $230,000 for their home and just over $14,000 to cover their personal property. Just the personal property, and that's what they think the the whole property and then we go find somewhere else to live off the 244,000. The Madrano's counter offer was 230,000 for personal property, 500,000 to rebuild, plus 750,000 for pain and suffering. In a document from the firm Litigation Engineered, the Madrano shared with Fox 26 News, their new home would be five bedrooms and three baths, when the present home is two bedrooms and one bath. The letter reads, Nothing in your correspondence explains the difference in size and layout. Clovis City Hall offered this statement. We are in ongoing conversations with each of the property owners to fairly compensate them for the damages and are looking forward to resolving this matter as quickly as possible. The Madranos say negotiations have been anything but quick. We love Clovis. It's a way of life. We love Clovis. I've lived in the same two mile radius my whole life. I love Clovis. This isn't the Clovis I know, though. The Madranos claim negotiations have to be resolved by March 30th or the city could waive responsibility. Rich Rodriguez, Fox 26 News. Now, the city of Clovis says that it is paying for the rental home that the Madranos are staying in through February 18th.